Hi guys, my name is Nicolette Mashile and today I want to talk a little bit about dating in your financial lane. I know that Valentine's Day is coming up soon and people are scrambling around trying to find the perfect gift and some people have put themselves under pressure because they've given off this impression that they've got either lots of money so their partners are expecting very big, you know, like exclusive gifts and all that and funny enough at the money family event last week we got asked a simple question and this lady got up and asked about you know financial suitability and also what happens if you're earning more than somebody and should you be dating somebody who earns less than you and you know it made me think to one of the um, videos that i did sometime last year about date in your financial lane and there was obviously a bit of confusion as is any financial topic people get very uncomfortable when you start talking about money because some how we've made money this big taboo thing that we don't talk about but the reality is whether we'd like to call it black or white or gray or green or blue money is a factor in relationships yes it's not the biggest factor and it's not a defining factor but it's one of those situations that if it does not get dealt with it can become the cause of breakups or you know unhappiness misunderstanding and sometimes it can become very controlling so what is it when we talk about dating in your financial lane you know when i think of dating in my financial lane i think of dating somebody who understands money the way i do somebody who has the same and similar and you know similar relationship with money as i do the same values and understanding and moral standing where money comes as i do so when people talk about you um, Nicolette, money has changed you. I want somebody who says to me, yes, money has changed you and it's supposed to change you. Because Nicolette who had no money and Nicolette who has money and Nicolette who might not have money in the future are three different people. So it's very um, important that people start to understand that money does change a person. But what about you is it changing? Is it changing your character? Or is it just elevating the lifestyle that you are living? Is it changing the quality of your life? Or does it change the way you speak to people now? Does it change the where you see people and that is the differentiating factor that I always say people need to draw the line on that so when we talk to people and we say you money has changed you what is wrong with that what we need to explain to people is money has changed this part of your life it does not matter whether you date somebody who is broke and has no money right now or if you date somebody who has the most money in the world right now what you need to find when you're looking for love and you're looking for somebody who's going to be a potential partner in your life for the rest of your life is does this person understand the way I understand money does this person have the same values and morals will this person's moral fiber be changed or corrupted when money comes into the equation that's what you should be asking that's what you should be looking forward to and obviously let's not lie love and cuddles are not going to pay for that vacation that you want to go on to so it's very important that both of you understand that again the things that you want that are going to improve the quality of of your life do require money how are the two of you going to meet halfway and be able to pay for these things be able to give yourself access to these things and if you are thinking of having children how are you together going to be able to give your children these opportunities and access that money is the one that actually buys so for instance good education is not bought by love good education is bought by money unfortunately that's the reality of life if you want to be that parent that gives your child you know a, a, a starting point when they matriculate you want to buy them a flat or give them a property to start off or like you know other parents of, of who are wealthy and they give their children loans to start their businesses if you want to be that parent you need to be with somebody who understands that and therefore you guys would start saving right now and I mean you can look at the TFSA leave your legacy on easy equities it's worth a try because that's what that product was specifically done for but that aside that aside and let's talk about money and talk about the suitability speak to your partners i think that sometimes it's such a difficult conversation to actually have how do you start that conversation how do you say to your man listen we need to start talking about money because i feel like this is where we are in our lives but the reality is that it is a conversation that you do need to have if you can see that i actually can't be with this person because every time we go out to the club this person wants to buy everybody drinks he's the one buying bottles tomorrow when we get home he can't even buy his breakfast or he's too broke to buy groceries or he's too broke to contribute his part to the bond to the rent or whatever 
then you need to have the conversation as quickly as possible so yeah man that's that for me is what you know dating in your financial lane is mirroring into your financial lane it can be somebody that earns a million rand a month and you are earning 10,000 rand a month but if you both treat those two amounts equally and the way you should be treating money I don't see a problem but also yeah don't be that person hey don't be that person that's out there dating somebody just for money because at the end of the day who's obonagala my mom always says whenever i used to so i used to date this guy when i was um, a, a young girl at home but we're not allowed to see each other and we're not in the same school i used to live in boarding school and he used to live at home so he would stand at the corner close to my, my my house and he would do this whistle thing and there was like a melody that he would do and i would know would say okay ukabelo sega corner ekonen he's standing at the corner waiting for me and then i would just you know ask my mom can i please go and um can i please go and buy bread you know <laughs> but knowing hurry you know um I was going there to to see him and my mom used to always say guzo bonagala nicolette one day it will show itself and um yeah it 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 it, it kind of did show itself eventually cuz I mean I know this person we are dating that story is really really irrelevant but what I'm trying to demonstrate is that guzo bonagala at the end of the day so if you are dating somebody for their money guzo bonagala baby girl baby boy don't do that to yourself it's at at some level you and i know the funny thing about when you're dating somebody for their money especially if you're a man if you're dating somebody uh, a girl and she's got more money than you people always say yeah date a girl with more money and the whole village will know it's not that I, I, maybe there are girls like that but i do sometimes think that when you know you are dating that girl for her money even the smallest things in life you will think that it's her being disrespectful or it's her trying to show you up even when it's not because you are in it for the money and and your ego is now getting bruised but again as a disclaimer i'm saying there are women who do you know unfortunately do not know how to act the same way there are men who do not know how to act when they've got money they don't know how to treat the other person and also we need to be sympathetic some people that's all they grew up knowing they only grew up knowing money their parents never said happy birthday to them they would get a lump sum of money they've had everything handed to them money has been able to buy everything in their life so some people don't know love so it's not it's not always a a, a black and white situation where you must write someone of just because they are a certain way sometimes it's just a matter of us investing same way we invest in stocks property bonds money markets we don't really know we're predicting you know we we're speculating what's going to happen sometimes some people are worth the opportunity uh, or the try and the effort to try and understand this person sometimes as people we don't know i don't know the next person might not know and really is it so bad to just give a person a chance and teach them but if you can see what this person is just not on my level in terms of thinking in terms of relationship in terms of moral fiber where money is involved my friend stay away from those kind of people you don't need that kind of tainting you don't need that kind of soiling Mwah.